An overburdened Department of Homeland Security released hundreds of migrant families from detention centers in southern Arizona this weekend. And senators pressed Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen for details on those releases at a hearing this morning. Cronkite News reporter Charlene Santiago is in our Washington bureau and she was at the hearing this morning. The hearing touched on everything from cybersecurity to terrorism, but Arizona Senator John Kyle had a question that hit much closer to home. What can we tell the community? The community he was referring to is Yuma, one of several where he said officials and citizens were taken by surprise recently when hundreds of immigrant families were released to local nonprofits. DHS Secretary Christian Nielsen said there are simply too many immigrant families to process and not enough space. But Kyle was looking for assurances for local residents. If these reviews are not being done because the numbers are too overwhelming, then the fact is that people in Yuma are going to be uh, threatened to some extent by an enormous number of uh, illegal entrants into the country, and uh, some of whom may not be making asylum claims. Prior to this weekend, DHS would have helped migrants who were waiting for a hearing by reaching out to family members already in the U.S. and finding transportation. With recent surge in families, DHS has turned to local nonprofits to help the immigrant families while they wait for their hearing. Nielsen said the families have to be released to obey a court ruling that limits detention of children to no more than 20 days. The solution, she says, is on Congress. My department will continue to ask Congress to pass legislation to clarify that families can be detained until they are removed. If they have an asylum claim, they can be detained until we can adjudicate that asylum claim. But while Nielsen pressed Congress, protesters who walked out at the start of her testimony said DHS needs to work harder to reunify the children it has in custody who haven't seen their parents since they were separated at the border. I'm here as a mom. Um, I'm here as someone who cares deeply about the millions of children who were separated from their parents. While the families are, out, are no longer in custody, they're also not completely free. ICE officials say these families are being paroled and supervised, and they've all been given an immigration court date. In Washington, Charlene Santiago, Cronkite News.